Hello, everybody. Flamin' Shark back with another video. This is gonna be an archive review um, to my reactions to the first season of Mob Psycho 100. I'm really looking forward to um, doing Mob Psycho Season 2, and I'm actually going to be starting Mob Psycho Season 2 in the next rotation. So I thought this, um, this set of... Um, Reuploads was the perfect time to archive season one. So you guys will have access to the first season of Mob Psycho once again on the main channel. If you guys want to check out my old reactions to Mob Psycho season one before we jump in to Mob Psycho season two. So so uh, these are going back up, which is really cool. Anyways, as far as um, the actual review, so obviously links are down below in the description. Um, to check out the full reactions to season one of Mob Psycho 100, um, if you guys want to check out the, um, if you guys want to check out the, uh, those. So yeah. Anyways, as far as the actual um, archive review, um, again, let's just jump right into it. Um, not a whole lot to say here. Uh, so this is a really interesting show, and obviously it's funny because I just did the archive review for season one of One Punch Man, and I kind of just generally talked about the themes of the series more than the actual episodes, even though I did go through what happened in episode one. So I think I'm going to do the same thing with this, where again, because I haven't watched the show in a while, I'm literally about to rewatch this show tomorrow, <laughs> but I haven't rewatched it in a while. So maybe I'm doing this a little early, but oh well. Um, I, I just want to get this up. Um, it'll be really interesting to kind of discuss this just a little bit because Mob Psycho, like One Punch Man, is a very interesting and unique series that tackles interesting and unique themes, and that's very much kind of in the nature of one between One Punch Man and Mob Psycho 100. So obviously, so the, there's two main characters, I or at least two people I consider uh, main characters in, um, in Mob Psycho 100, which is... Um, Uh, you have Arataka Reijin, or Reijin, and you have Shijio Kageyama, also known as Mob. And Reijin and Mob are a sensei and, um, student. They're a teacher-student relationship. Uh, Reijin is this, uh, psychic who is a complete fraud, but he's very charismatic, and he manages to play everything off to his advantage to make people believe he's an actual psychic. And then you have Mob, who's a ki who's a, um, a a socially awkward kid who actually is this incredibly powerful Esper. And it's really interesting because the thing about Mob and Regine's relationship is that Regine always acts like he's this super powerful. Um, psychic and uh, and pretty much always makes. All right, so um, now now that's a that's a new one. I've I was interrupted on a review, and I really don't want to repeat what I said already. So I'm just gonna cut it together, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting because I think what makes their relationship so dynamic is that Raijin is such a charismatic and, you know, like, I don't want to say douchebag or asshole, but he's such a charismatic, like, uh, con artist. And then you have Mob, who's like the exact opposite. He's super earnest, not very charismatic, and they just play off of each other so well, and they make such a great dynamic duo that really carries the show. Um, now, of course, there's plenty of time in the show that focuses more so on Mob without Raijin in that kind of uh, BS mentor role that he plays to Mob, um, although he does sometimes give good advice. Um, there's a lot of... Um, great um just gimmicks and bits in this series you know episode two um episode two has one of the greatest jokes i've ever seen in my life because the whole episode 
is all this one joke. And I'm not going to, and I, and you know, I'm not going to get too in depth into it, but basically it's this whole joke, um, that's set up and it, 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 it uh, subverts your expectations in a beautiful way that you absolutely love. And it's just one of the funniest moments you'll ever see. It's absolutely fantastic. So episode two really was pretty much all this one joke, but it was great. Um, you know, and then, you know, there's this whole cult thing where, you know, we have this whole thing with a, a guy who's using his psychic powers to create like a cult of smiles and, you know, it goes on and then eventually, you know, we have the thing with Teru where Teru is being a, um, Teru and Mob eventually end up fighting and Mob goes completely insane and that's badass. And then eventually we kind of get into the, um, then we get into the whole thing with, um, with the kind of main villains of the the season who kind of are built off and there's the whole moment where raging goes completely just absolutely insane and actually manages to do everything without doing anything because raging has this incredible ability to just have find a way to make everything work out for him despite the fact that he doesn't actually have any powers and it's great um so if you couldn't tell i i don't actually remember Mob Season 1 from the details as well as I do One Punch Man Season 1. And that's why I'm literally about to re start rewatching the series tomorrow or possibly to today, depending on which day that comes up. Because I'm about to rewatch Mob Season 1 in preparation to reacting to Mob Season 2. But that's the thing. I, I don't really remember it that well. I remember like the specific moments that absolutely just blew me away. And I remember you know, mob and the whole thing and the whole thing, how over the course of the season with the percentage and all of that and how they built up to that. Mm. But there's just a lot of really cool moments. And, you know, I, another thing is that Rajan sticks with the whole thing about psychic powers and being human at the end. And there's just, there's so many great details and it's just beautiful to see how they live their life and all that stuff it's really great um but the general thing is as you can tell is that i'm just completely bullshitting my way through this review and i'm probably going to end it any moment now so anyways that's pretty much all i gotta say <laughs> oh that's so bad but I hope you guys enjoyed the um, the the actual reactions because I do remember the reactions being very fun, and I can't wait to rewatch this series, which is really ironic. That again, I if I waited a couple days, but I post these on Sunday and Monday, or I'm gonna try to start now posting these on Sunday and Monday, which is the reason why these are going up when they are. So um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to uh, leave it off here, and uh, yeah. Mob Psycho Season 1's back on YouTube, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, Flame and Shark sign out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.